up as an old dog, he's about 15. He likes to come out every day. The young dog, Nambi, she's a Jack Russell. We're rowing down Muddy Creek. To me, it's always been Muddy Creek, but now the new name is Panatana Rivulet. I've had several dogs row with me. So I've got one dog, five years old. He'll be around, believe me, I reckon, probably be goat. I'll be gone before he is, but the old dog's about 15. I've lived here all my life, fortunately, except 12 months. So I've been here 95 years. Grandfather was Percy Griffiths, and he was the son of Captain John, a ship owner and boat builder. He built ships from down the east coast, and he came to Launceston in 1822. He set a shipyard there. That's the largest ship John built in Launceston. She was called the Sydney Griffiths. She did four trips to London you know, in her lifetime. She lost on the fifth trip. Brian and I are first cousins, and the Williamses had the inn at Port Sorrel. The Griffiths were living in Launceston. Two of the boys of Griffiths came down, and seeing the man at the inn had 12 children and a lot of girls, they came down and married two of the daughters. And as I always said to Brian, that's where the Griffiths learned how to build boats. They got two of George Williams's daughters. That's how they got ahead. That's the first thing I tell you. He's been a rough on me now, hasn't he? <laughs> I'm 88 and Brian's 96. My people came out every weekend to Port Sorrel. And our shack was next door to Brian's house. So we saw a lot of Brian from the very beginning. We used to buy our fish from him. Sometimes they're undersized, <laughs> but we won't talk about that. <laughs> I'm 96. We used to row on our birthdays. Unfortunately, this last couple of years, the old legs are not working so good, so... <laughs> Jeff's done it for me today. There are quite a lot of boats in here, 100 years old. Some look the part and some don't look it. In fact, there's one here on my right that's gone down for the last time. A lot of old boats here and the way it looks. They're all pegs and it's just got something about it. My dad built boats on this spot. Um, the, last one, the last one he built here was called the Joan. She was built as a fishing boat. The, uh, he built one called the Hope. It was one that I managed to get back and, and restored. Brian's father and my uncle Harold, they had a boat together called the Sheeny and they fished for 12 years out of Port Sorrel and they never had a, an argument. Did okay. you want to add anything in there, Brian? Well, no, don't let him say something. He's had his say. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> no, I'm not being. Yeah, well, Muddy Creek to me has been um, a playground as much as anything. I learned to swim here. I learned to row a boat here. I learned to sail in here, actually, as well. I don't think I could live without it. It's that good. Muddy Creek has got a lot of old men who spend time down there and the old boats are here too. Torito gets into the men and as well as the old boats. They've got Torito worm in the keels and after a while the boats sink and I suppose the old men will sink too when the Torito gets, gets in their keels. <laughs> <laughs>